Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics series on college algebra. So in this video, we are going to be discussing functions. And this is something that you're going to see everywhere from algebra to uh, every math class you take uh, in the future. So let's start with the definition of a function. So in mathematics, a function is uh, defined as a function is defined as an expression an expression that relating that relates an input to an output and so let's talk about the notation so we've got the symbol f of x now this is an expression that you're going to be seeing uh, a lot in the future. This is probably the most used symbol in mathematics. So what we've got here is we've got a function f that relates x. So let's look at an example. We've got f of x is equal to, let's say, 2x plus one. So we've got our equation here. And our function, f of x, relates x to an output. So we've got 2 times x plus 1. And whatever we put in for x, our output is going to be the result when we place x into this equation. So we're going to do a chart. So we've got our x values. And we've got our f of x values. And so if we plug in 0 for x, so we've got f of 0 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1, which is equal to 0 plus 1. So when we plug in 0 to our function f of x, the result is 1. So 0 was our input, and our output is 1. Uh, let's do another example. Instead of 0, let's do 2. So f of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 plus 1. And so we've got 4 plus 1. So our function, uh, when we use 2 as our input, gives us 5. And so let's try it with another example of a function. We can use x squared plus x because a function can have the, uh, the input. The input can be expressed in your function multiple times. So let's try f of 0 to start again. So we plug in 0, where each of our x's are in our equation. And when we uh, have the input of 0, this function gives us an output of 0 as well. So it's 0 and 0. And if we tried f of 2, we've got 2 squared plus 2, which is equal to 4 plus 2. And we'll find that our output is 6. So when our input is 2, our output this time is 6. So when we're using functions, they might not always look like this. We can use any symbol to represent an input. For example, we could do f of theta if we wanted to use angles instead of just, um, say, integer values. Or we could have f of a square symbol. Whatever your symbol is inside of your function, uh, that's just what you're calling the input factors. And our f doesn't have to necessarily be an f either. Our function could be written g of x or our function could be written h of y. 
uh, each of these are functions, but they are just using different symbols to express input and output. Thank you for watching this worldwide Center of Mathematics short on algebra. So be sure to click this button to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any new math videos. Click here to visit the playlist for the video that you just watched, and click on this button to visit centerofmath.org for even more math resources.